what is up youtube nameless here bringing you guys another video now we're headed into major number two well stage two and then major number two but it's right around the corner it is the boston major we had our holiday break and now we are back baby and this weekend we got some matches coming up so this is going to be my prediction video not going to be super long but i want to get my predictions out there for some of you guys who may be doing your pickums need a little bit of assistance uh and the pickem website is up it will be in the description below so go check it out uh but let's get into it man let's Let's get to business. So here we go. Match number one, 3 p.m. on Friday. We have the London Royal Ravens versus the Toronto Ultra. Now, looking at this match, right? Royal Ravens are going to have a new look. They're going to have scraps on the team. We know how good scraps is, how dominant that he can be. We, But we haven't seen him in a very long time. It's been a couple of years, I think two years since he played uh, his last pro league match. Um, so for scraps... It's going to be interesting. I'm excited. We know Paul X is taking a step back. He's, uh, you know, going to be doing his thing for a little bit while he gets his life together. Uh, and Scraps is a fantastic substitute. I feel like he should have been in the league still. Um, I know there was like some, uh, you know, issues with him on the team side outside of the game. Uh, but since then, I think he's fixed those things. And I'm a big supporter of Scraps. So I'm excited for that. But I do think Ultra take this. I think Ultra are one of the better teams that we have in our league. And I think they come away with a 3-1 victory here. Uh, just looking too strong on the side of the Toronto squad. Um, the next match that we have is the Minnesota Rocker versus the Boston Breach. Now, the Minnesota Rocker, okay. Minnesota Rocker, I feel like we were robbed of a really good major out of these guys. We saw some good performances. Uh, but I was taking a look at like their, their route because there were so many matches. And you saw like... They won their first match for his Decimate GG. Then they lost 3-0 to New York, which ended up going on to win the event. And they went down to losers and they lost to the Toronto Ultra. So just kind of like a really, really tough draw in the bracket for the Minnesota Rocker. Granted, you have to beat everybody if you want to be the best. Uh, but Rocker was pretty solid team. Uh, I mean, we saw them do great in the online format. Afro had some good performances. I was looking at some of their statistics here. As you guys can see, control is phenomenal. Number two overall in control. We look at the Minnesota Rocker here and Search and Destroy. It wasn't the best, uh, you know, round one percentage was pretty low. Um, offense, pretty low. So got some things to work on there. Uh, and then also when you look at the hard point for the Minnesota Rocker, some of the worst, uh, we know that they weren't particularly good at map ones online and, you know, didn't really do too good at hard point when it came to land either. So some things for them to work on for Boston Breach as well. They had some issues awakening um got sick and wasn't able to play uh, i feel like there's so many question marks around boston how good are they truly because they dominated when the m4 was in but since then it's been kind of quiet for the boston breach they haven't been doing too hot literally since then so uh for this one i think it's gonna come down to the wire i'm gonna go minnesota rocker in a 3-2 fashion uh but honestly that one has a lot of question marks around it but i think minnesota is the better team at this point in time uh, the next match that we have, 6 p.m., Seattle Surge versus the Las Vegas Legion. Now, Vegas, one of the best search and destroy teams that we had at major number one. We saw what Vegas was able to do. I mean, this is a team that Clayster was clutching 1v3s. Everybody was popping off for them. You can see round win percentage here. They have 53%. Uh, I think they had a really good first blood. Yeah, 54% first bloods, and they're converting that into wins 75% of the time, which is very impressive. Um yeah, so or Las Vegas Legion, I mean, they're looking like a really good team, especially in Search and Destroy. 57% retake percentage as well, uh, doing really good on the maps they play. Uh, their S&D, they have a deeper map pool too. Um, control, they still need to work on. We saw them throw away a couple of controls, but it looked overall better at the event. Um, that being said, they're playing Seattle Surge, and I think they lose that uh, in a 3-0 fashion. Unfortunately, Seattle is a very strong team. I think they fix uh, some of their search and destroy woes today. Uh, we saw them playing Fortress repeatedly, and it just wasn't working for them. But uh, I think at this point, people know search and destroy is a little bit more one-dimensional, and I think they're able to adjust. But there is the caveat of can Fred bounce back from all this off-season or you know uh, downtime turmoil that there was? This break, this break. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, because obviously he had that wonderful opportunity wasn't able to go uh take up on that move to optic uh can there is their chemistry still there i mean it's definitely a question that should we should be talking about um and focusing on going into their match so we'll see how pred performs in that match but you know it nevertheless that's a good game to have if you're seattle to bounce back immediately from all this chaos is just to come out smoke the vegas legion uh you have that in you we'll see what they do 3-0 seattle on saturday we have the lag 
Academy versus Florida Mutineers. All right, so they boot everybody. We got rid of Hook. We got rid of Neptune. We're bringing in all these different players. We got Exceed. We got Joe Deceives. We got Assault and Arcides now. And then also, yeah, Sparks on the bench. So uh, this is going to be super interesting, right? We saw this team, LAG Academy, what they were able to do. So if you guys didn't watch major number one, LAG Academy had some big wins. Uh, you know, you see they come out here, they do good in the qualifier, and then they go into our bracket. Where were they placed? They were placed in group C, and they go to game five against Atlanta Phase, guys. And go back and watch the series. Atlanta Phase lost both hard points to LAG Academy, showing that challengers teams are like slightly ahead. Uh, at least they were when it came to hard point, but they lose in a game five, search and destroy. They go down to the loser bracket. They beat London, who was lights out in our online qualifiers. And then they go up against Seattle and they lose in a 3-0 fashion for their qualifier match. So, you know, just a little bit tough if you're LAG Academy. But either way, I mean, they still played absolutely fantastic uh, throughout the challenger stage, throughout the bracket. They beat a pro team. They took phase to game five and then they lose to a team that ends up getting top two in our tournament. So, uh, you know, solid move by LAG. We'll see how it pans out. Either way, back to the prediction i have the florida mute honestly i don't know man because florida is i think they're technically the worst hardpoint team that we have uh right now let's see i believe they are so uh where would i go mm -mm -mm -mm. where is florida florida is four and 12 in hard points so just not been great for them at all uh let's see their plus minus. i mean granted they've probably not been losing by a ton of points but that's just how this game works no, they have been. So they have one of the worst plus minuses, hold percent. Like their stats are just bad in that game mode. Uh, and we know LAG Academy is probably going to be a solid hardpoint team just based on what we've seen. Um, either way, I think the search and destroys in this series go to Florida. Uh, and I do think they have the potential to take a hard point here. Uh, There's going to be a lot of nerves probably on the side of LAG Academy. Maybe, uh, you know, we'll see. I'm going to go with Florida Mutineers here 3-2. Okay, but I'm not confident in that whatsoever. Uh, next match at 430, we have the Royal Ravens versus the Minnesota Rocker. Now, all these matches, guys, as we get further into the predictions, right? Uh, I'm probably going to have different predictions on the days of these matches. This is my early predictions because I'm going to have different ones because we're going to see performances from these teams on the Friday, right? So I'll be able to change my opinion with the knowledge that I have of the updated knowledge of these teams and their performances. But these are my way too early predictions uh, for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'm going to go with the Minnesota Rocker uh, in a 3-1 fashion. I just have a lot of faith in that team and their ability. Uh, I think that they're going to, they learned a lot from that event. Uh, they moved on past the turmoil early season uh, and they learned a lot from the land too. I don't think we've seen the last of Minnesota. I think they're, they're going to be a contender. Uh, probably the best match of the day. Well, these two matches are both absolute bangers, but Seattle Surge versus Atlanta phase was one of the best matches we had at the tournament. If you missed it, I did a video breaking down phases comeback in the hard point on Fortress versus Seattle. Go check it out two videos ago. Uh, but I'm going to go with Atlanta phase in this series, actually. I think they're going to take it 3-2. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, they've learned a lot when it comes to the response. The hard point's going to be stronger. The search and destroy was the, the best at the tournament. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, Atlanta phase 3-2 versus Seattle in a hard fought series. Uh, and then we have New York Subliners versus the LA Thieves. Now, LA Thieves, guys, had some of the best fundamentals at the tournament. Uh, I just feel like this is a team that is super solid, but they're going up against the New York Subliners. They're coming off of a win who had amazing chemistry, amazing teamwork and communication, who are probably still riding that high. Um, hot take, I think LA Thieves are going to take it, man. I think LA Thieves are going to take this series uh, in a 3-1 fashion. Uh, it's just a super hot take, but they look good to me, dude. I'm telling you, when you like watch their games, they're making such good plays. There's a couple clutch moments get away from you, but that's just how Call of Duty is. All right, moving on to Sunday. Once again, way too early predictions. Toronto Ultra versus Florida Mutineers. I'm going with the Ultra in a 3-2 fashion. This is a series that just has game five written all over it with some spectacular moments. We're gonna see out of Scrappy and the respawns. You might see a dominant map one from Ultra, a bounce back game two out of Florida with some pretty cheeky strats out of Havoc. Uh, and then I think, I think Toronto take this in a 3-2 fashion, but it is going to get dicey at times. We know Florida can be a solid control team. Havoc's a rat. He can get up close and personal behind you and be annoying. Brack has the pop-off ability when it comes to the respawn. So, uh, but I do think Toronto all should take it one way or another because they're solid across the board. Um, and then we have Boston Breach versus Optic Texas with Hook on it. Our first time seeing Hook perform with Optic Texas. Zio is back, that trio. 
Uh, and, you know, Illy Shotzi and Hook, nasty trio with Scump in his last year. It's going to be a lot of pressure uh, with, with Rambo as well as the coach. Basically, Dallas Empire with Scump. Uh, I think Optic take this series. Uh, I think they're going to come in with so much fire. Uh, and they take this one, man. 3-1 fashion. I think they might drop that, you know, game two search and destroy. Or maybe that control. Maybe being way too amped in one of those game modes and losing, making a mistake. But hard points are just going to be a flurry versus Boston, man. So I'm going to go with Optic Texas 3-1. Super excited for that match. Uh, and then we have LA Thieves versus LAG. I think this is a 3-1 pretty quick and easy by la thieves but you never know right you never know some of these challengers players give players like octane and kenny and them trouble sometimes so uh i'm gonna go with lag in that one either way those are my predictions for week number one i know i sort of sped through this video but i can only give so much context when we haven't seen these guys play after the break uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helps you with your pickums and gives you something to look out for maybe some of the narratives of these teams or if you haven't been closely following Give you something to look at but either way much love and appreciation i'll see you guys in the next video where i'm giving my takes on all of these predictions and how the weekend actually went where i'm probably gonna go like 50 percent uh much love make sure you like the video subscribe comment if you haven't when you comment on videos i get to interact with you and it allows me to make more videos if you guys support it so i'll see you guys in the next one much love and peace